thank you for clicking Dr. Samurai channel. In this video, I would like to discuss Ms. Jamie Lynn Spears, especially her confession that she had to live pretending to be perfect in her conservative family. My name is Dr. Samurai. I am a professor specialized in international social pathology and also an active prison counselor of 20 years experience. I'm hoping this video would help you deepen your understanding of yourself and what is happening in today's world to attain to happiness on this planet Earth. As usual, I would provide you some basic information first and then like to move on to our main discussions in the latter half. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. As you know it very well, Ms. Jamie Lynn Spears is a sister of Ms. Brittany Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears says for all these 30 years she had to live pretending to be perfect in conservative family environment in her new memoir things I should have said this topic is based upon an article written by Thomas Muir titled Jamie Lynn Spears to open up about her mental health in new book. I had to pretend to be perfect. She started writing this book shortly after her daughter Maddie's life-changing accident in 2017. And she goes, I've spent my whole life believing that I had to pretend to be perfect even when I wasn't. So, for the first time, I am opening up about my own mental health because this process challenged me to have to be painfully honest with myself. I had to face a lot of hard things that uh, I normally would have just glossed right over like I was taught to. As you all know, Jamie Spears grew up in a famous family and she became a teen mom with two children. And she continues, I owe it to myself, my younger self, to my daughters, to be an example that uh, you should never edit yourself or your truth. To please anyone else and in this Instagram post of hers she says she's hoping this will help anyone else out there who forgot their worth lost their voice trying to break an unhealthy cycle in their life and it goes last but certainly not least I want you all to know you matter. Your story matters. You are enough. And don't ever let this world try to convince you otherwise. And she says, I hope you all did something good for yourself today. I hope you all know how important and special you are. Take that nap go for a run, eat that chocolate, binge watch that show, you deserve it. This is pretty much the basic information. Oh, if you like this kind of discussions, please click that uh, yellow and green good luck charm logo. Let me continue. Based upon this uh, basic information, I would like to discuss what 
all this really means shared by Ms. Jamie Lynn Spears. This belongs to emotional control or psychological control, which has very similar effects as emotional neglect has. Under conservative authoritarian parent, your parents have fixed ideas they stick to and they try to force it upon their children and without the children sticking to it they practically cannot live under the same roof because uh, children do not have means of livelihood so even if the kid feels a if the parents presses b the children must stick to b what happens in this process the kid has to kill her true voice or her true self she had to live that way all her life before she became independent Ms. Jamie Spears is using the term mental health yes I think that is a right term and what happens by living pretending to be a perfectly good ideal child one main thing is your ego your social ego stops developing you do not have yourself that you can depend on to live in society independently cause you are always instructed and ordered to do certain things other than your own feeling in a sense you become adult children whose ego remains immature stopped at a certain level in short they do not have solid themselves that's the main thing and the second thing is they always watch others reaction and facial expressions they had to read parents faces and how they are feeling about what she is doing she has to read it to live safely those conservative parents they do not love children unconditionally it's like the kids get a good grade they give positive reaction back to her but uh, say uh, she acted wrong way at the family reunion later on parents get very cold they manipulates their love based upon what the kid does suit what they want or not so kids always must be careful about parent reaction and it continues on in a society or in school they have this habit of always over sensitive to others reaction which makes you very tired all the time and every day so in many cases uh, they become a class clown you know always uh, doing something funny and joking because as long as others are laughing and smiling they feel safe but uh, that is not uh, true themselves and number three although superficially they are mingling with others they are completely lonely inside you did not develop two unconditional emotional ties with your mother do you think you can make uh, emotional ties with others which 
you couldn't even uh, accomplish with your own mother? That is impossible. As I have said, you always not to show to yourself and pretending like somebody who is liked by everybody. You are not living as you really are. So there's no way you can establish true connection, true emotional connections with others. So superficially, they look fine and happy with others. But inside, they don't have anybody. These three are the main thing that you develop by living, pretending to be perfect. No solid social ego. Always oversensitive to others' reactions. And no true emotional bonds with others. This is very similar to emotional neglect, as I have said in the beginning. In case of emotional neglect, they did not have enough communications with their parents at home. So, they do not have skills to uh, make friends with others. And also, they do not have positive energy because nobody inserted that positive energy during their childhood. They are usually ostracized and excluded by peers, sitting isolated in the classroom. And that situation continues, that uh, they could not enter human relationship. And we all have good feelings and bad feelings, and uh, we release them in our communications to uh, keep our balance. But uh, those without communications, negative feelings stocks up. And when it reaches a certain level, face some trigger incident, you explode. Like mass shooters, mass murderers. Big difference between uh, emotional neglect and emotional control, like Ms. Uh, Jamie Lynn Spears, is in case of emotional control, although it was uh, negative communications, they still had communications at home. So, there's no problem entering a human relationship, pretending like a good guy or a good girl, but uh, that is not true themselves, you know? But in case of emotional neglect, they cannot even enter that relationships. So superficially, emotional control is a little lighter, but in the long run, it's the same thing. Social isolation without uh, any substantial relationships with others. And one other thing I must add to uh, this uh, emotional control is because parents set this goal all the time and the kids must always think about reaching that to satisfy their parents, right? But uh, it is impossible to always meet the expectations by parents, right? So they are always under pressure that uh, they are not 
good enough, thinking that、uh, they are not up to、uh, parents' expectation. And this is going to、uh, agonize the subject for the rest of the life. So, all these、uh, negative consequences by emotional control. Ms. Jamie Lynn Spears called、uh, mental health. Now you, I think, understand why she said that. But、uh, when、uh, her first daughter went through a life changing accident, I think Ms. Jamie hit the emotional bottom. You know, absoluteness, not、uh, relative value. That、uh, parent forced on her, but the true absolute value and access. And she came to understand what really matters. It is at that moment, I believe, that、uh, she recognized she will throw away all the BS that was placed on her. To be a good girl. And she must have recognized to live true to yourself is the most important thing in this only one life chance. So she keeps saying, You matter and your story matters. And you are enough. Don't let others to try to change you. Now, all these make much better sense to you, right? And she is writing this, I think, genuinely to help others who are. On this similar situation. And she is trying to put a period on all those、uh, past her and her life by writing this book. And、uh, she will、uh, donate a portion of the proceeds of、uh, this new book to a mental health organization. So she really、uh, recognized what is the most thing in her life. And、uh, now she is trying to、uh, set the first step on the life of her own. This is a beautiful story. Seeing all those mass shootings and mass murders, I think.、Uh, Substantial part of that comes from those who grew up emotionally controlled by their parents and deserted at a certain point that、uh, they are not up to the parents' expectation. Now they don't have themselves and they lost the direction always given by their parents, so they could not leave. And the only way they can in this world in which they could not find even one true connection is destroy it. This is the underlying mechanics of mass shootings. And we are living on the same spectrum at a different point. We should all know that, including me. And、uh, today's value is parents must all know children are not your possession. I repeat it again your children are not your own possession. You are just keeping them, looking after them. Only for a short time period so that、uh, your kids could live independently 
on their own in a healthy manner in the society if you crossed the line remember this they will never come back to you when your spell is lifted this is all for today if you like this kind of serious discussions please click that uh, red Dr. Sumail logos and also check my home page you can definitely find the video you will like please live as you really are up until next time we see wherever you are my friend on this same planet earth during the same period of time okay bye bye